Today we have a beautiful contact form module that you can download for free. And I'm going to show you how you can load this module on your page in just a few clicks, but also I'm going to show you how you can create such a module from scratch. So without any further ado, let's get started. You can easily load this module on your page using Dividend On Demand plugin. Go to Add From Library, make sure that Dividend On Demand tab is selected and click the Load button below this contact form module. If you don't see the module on your right between other modules and layouts, you can use the search box to find it. Once you do that, click the Load button and in a moment this module is going to be saved to the library. Then update the page and click Add from Library once again. This time select Add from Library tab and select the module you just saved to the library. CSS is automatically added to this page as well, that's this red locked module. Let's preview to make sure that everything looks great. And there we go. But let's also see how we can create such a module from scratch. You want to click standard section and choose the row with two columns, this one. And then you want to go to section settings. For the section background, you want to add this color. And then select advanced tab and for the class you want to paste this free contact form Sigma. All the class names and all the CSS I'm pasting here, you can find that everything in our text tutorial and you can grab it from there. Now save and exit. Now let's start adding our modules. First one is call to action module. Inside the content tab, let's add some content of course. For the title, I'm going to add this and for the uh, content, I'm going to enter this. Let's scroll down. For the background, we want to set this to no, so we don't want to use any background color. Now let's select design tab. We want to align this to left and for the text color choose dark. Now let's edit text settings. For the title, we want to make it this fun family. We want to make it medium left aligned for the title text color we're going to use this hex for the title text size it is going to be 18 pixels and the line height 120 percent now for the body text we are going to use the same font family also medium left aligned uh, for the text color, we're going to use this hex for the font size 36 pixels for the desktop, for the tablet 30 pixels and for the smartphone 26 pixels. Also for the body line height 120%. Also scroll down to spacing section and here we want to add the custom margin for button. Uh, 0 pixels and custom padding bottom 8 pixels. That's it for the design tab. Now select the advanced tab. And here in promo description you want to paste this and in promo title you want to paste this. Again all the CSS codes I'm pasting right now and the codes I'll be pasting later you can find all that CSS codes in our text tutorial and you can grab it from there. Click the save and exit and now we want to add our main module that's contact form of course and we're going to add it just below our call to action module. In the content tab we want to change the text of the submit button and we want to say send message we want to hide the captcha this time, we don't need it. And that's it for the content tab. For the design tab, let's see form field. We want to make it this hex. We want to make it Latte font family regular left aligned. For the form uh, field text color, this hex. 
and 16 pixels. Also we want to use custom styles for the button. We want to, but before that, uh, also make sure to disable form field text shadow. So for the button make it 16 pixels and for the font size make the button text color white. You want to make it uppercase and you want to hide the icon. Uh, also for the button font use latter once again. Let's make it bold. And now I'll scroll down to sizing section and make this 699 pixels. In advanced tab we want to assign a unique ID and that's this one. Also for the contact button box uh, we want to paste this CSS code. Another thing you want to do inside this module settings is to go to fields individual settings and for each field uh, you want to go to design tab scroll down to border options uh, border border here we go and choose the bottom border you want to make it one pixels one pixel and and for the border color make it uh, this one that's it click save Pro repeat that step for other other fields that you have and now for the second column uh, we want to add two blur modules let's add our first one uh, I'm going to add some title of course and here I'm going to add some telephone number for the content tab now let's select design for the title text I'm going to use Latte font family I'm going to make it regular centered I want to use this hex for the text color I'm going to make it 16 pixels for the letter spacing at 0.4 pixels and for the line height 160 per cents for the body text let's add this font family make it medium centered I'm going to make it uh, this color for the font size 36 pixels 0.7 for the letter spacing and 120% line height scroll down to sizing and make the content width 222 pixels 222 for the spacing Let's add custom padding for the top, 48 pixels, 10 pixels, 48, 10. There we go. And also we want to set rounded colors, for example, 4 pixels. For the box shadow, we want to use the second option. And here we want to uh, type in 30 pixels and here 70 pixels for the shadow color we want to use uh, this RGBA color and that's it for the design tab now go to advanced tab and inside the verb title you want to paste this CSS that's it for the blurb module now you can just clone this blurb and you can just change the content, nothing else. Uh, blue title 2, for example. Now just save and exit. And the final step in this tutorial is to add custom CSS. You can grab and copy it from the text tutorial. Then you want to go to page settings and paste it inside the custom CSS. Click save and update the page. And let's have a check. And there we go. So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you like our new free module we prepared for you, I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching!